I've got so many yeah. fun, like fun stories of my school IT team just being utterly incompetent. See, my school's IT team wasn't really so much incompetent. They were just kind of lazy. And so they'd hang out in the tech classes most of the time. Which computer repair and networking were on a completely separate network because the school district was afraid of us hacking the whole school network. Uh Uh-huh. They had a little, like, separate network for just the computer classes. Mm -hmm. Oh. What? God, I can only imagine that going... You know, actually, no, to be fair, there might be some value in that because, um... (laughs) So... My school security was so utterly bad. There were a couple of uh, couple of script kitties that took control over some of like the the computer monitoring software. So every single laptop in my school had this. I don't remember what it was called, but it was basically a program that let you monitor what the screens were doing and even like take over the screen and like force show uh, something to it. Oh uh, yeah, and. Um, yeah. There were a couple of script keys that somehow got access to an admin account. The password was... I know it wasn't admin. It was probably admin1 or something. Um, and they would do things like show porn to people. Uh, just play, like, oh. random music. And no one knew for the longest time who it was. Because it would always show up as, like... Uh, obviously, they would... Smart enough to... I. Either they were smart enough to hide their IP address so that people didn't know exactly which device it was, or the IT team was dumb enough to not realize you can check IP addresses of devices on your network. Um, yeah. And because it looked like it was coming from the admin account, well, who else could it be but the admin? Mm-hmm. I think <clears> a <throat> lot of those, that software, they didn't really show the name of the computer in the stuff for the one that took control. Mm-hmm. I know you could see from the dashboard everybody's screen from it. Yeah, yeah. What they were doing in the name of the computer, but other than that, I don't think from the admin it showed that. Uh, what do you mean? It's in like when it would broadcast to the other screens. I've seen it because I know the teachers would use it. Yeah, yeah. And I don't. It wouldn't show the name of the computer that was broadcasting their screen with everybody. Oh no, else I mean, but like network. in the. I'm sure in, like, the audit log for the software, it would show, like, who was, like, what devices were using it. If they were smart enough to, like, check that, which they weren't. To expect school IT to do that? They're paid by the state. Come on. Yeah, no, I I don't expect that, because I remember back when I first started that school, I had the admin password. um, Because they, they actually did set it to admin. And the first day what, we were there, we got access to it. What's funny <clears throat> is when you partition a network off of students because you're afraid of them hacking in, mm. into the rest of the network, and you still let them plug their own, like, flash or whatever memory into it. Like, I had a, a an external hard drive mm-hmm. that I would play games from during lunch and all. Yeah. I always plugged it into the computers to access my programs and stuff because I also had portable firefox on me all ah. the time so i had my history my right. bookmarks and everything wherever i went to whatever computer actually in my school that was really dangerous to do so while my my it staff were incompetent they were incompetent in a awful way so <laughs> i don't know why they did this but i think they had it set up as like a regex search of files and if it came across a certain file name it would just delete it <clears throat> what? So we um we would play things like Assault Cube, Urban Terror, uh, Halo, like the first Halo game, because uh, that was the only mm. one that worked on a Mac. Um, we had COD Four and a bunch of other stuff. And when they realized we were playing this stuff, they just basically were like, "Hey, if it has the same name as the 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 executable or whatever they called on Mac, just delete it." So mm. you could just change the name of it, and it wouldn't delete it. Yeah. Oh, it's some kids that actually put a star- no CD cracked StarCraft install Ooh. on one of the school um, network drives. So they basically play StarCraft from that. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. We did, act- uh, I think by the end, maybe by the time I was in year 12, we did finally have like a network drive set up. And 
the security obviously wasn't good. You could, for the first couple of days, you could access anyone else's drive. Like, nice. It was like, you're supposed to have a specific folder that was your allocated petition. No, just do whatever. <laughs> yeah. What was goofy is Windows XP had this thing where you could drop a desktop.ini file into any folder. Mm. And in the Explorer window, it would change the program if you set it to a an image file. Mm. So I'd have done that with my student network drive. I go in and there's a background mm -hmm. behind all the icons in this window. So uh, my school had um, the laptops we had, like it wasn't bring your own device. They had like dedicated laptops for the school. Um, mm. And because it was like that, do you know like how how bad people treat their devices when they don't own it? Because man, got a pretty good idea. <laughs> so they would treat like they would just put their laptops in the bag and just like throw the bag around as if like as if they were throwing around like a a basketball or something. Yeah. And I don't even know how many devices got broken, but it got to the point where they were just like. You know what? We're just not going to replace some of them. You can just use pen and paper. Yeah. Yeah. But it had gotten to the point with that school where, like, they said that laptops were, like, a privilege to use. Like, not a... Not something that you you had to use. But they'd gotten to the point where they had embedded the use of laptops so far into the curriculum that if you didn't have the laptop with you, you just couldn't work in a lot of cases. <clears throat> So they put themselves in a situation where they said, we're not replacing it, but at the same time, we kind of have to replace it yeah. if we want them to do their schoolwork.